Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Our very own brother, uh, Baseki, he does speak for inside the matter. Baseki say, you know why Atiku say, we say, this thing must not uh, continue. He say, I tell you. He say, Atiku is seeking disclosure of Tinubu's academic record. The reason, eh, now Baseki, they tell us so. Olusha uh, Baseki, now they tell us, say, there is a reason. You know, Baseki, now the governor of Edo State, he say, no, say, he not just they pursue the matter like who they chase shadows. No, no, he said there's a reason. He said there's a big reason why they do what they do. He say no what he say you see here, he get why. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details as uh, uh, Obaseki. Governor Godwin Obaseki exposed to us the real reason why our brother have said, you know what, I'm not giving up on this matter. A chieftain of the People's Democratic Party and member of the Presidential Campaign Council, PCC, in the last election, Dr. Don Pedro Obaseki has also weighed in in the matter, as well as the governor of the state of Edo. The chieftain, the member, says, Nigerians will be shocked if the Chicago State University truly released the academic record of President Bola Metinobu. This Atiku is well sure about. Atiku is not a madman who wants to just go to a foreign land and disgrace himself. There is a reason he wants to see this certificate. It is because there are things that if Nigerians know, they will send Tinubu out of the door quickly. Obaseki, who was the Director of Research and Documentation of People's Democratic Party, PCC, in the 2023 election explained that Atiku is seeking an open disclosure of Tinubu's Chicago State University document because it is believed that the Supreme Court of Nigeria may already be compromised and may be compared to listen to this fresh evidence in the petition already, already submitted to it. So Atiku wants everyone to know this and see how the Supreme Court will be able to judge themselves out of this. Speaking during a Zoom conference hosted by Professor Gould Emmanuel, a, physio, a physiologist based in London yesterday, Obaseki said it was because of the nature of the issue and the need for Nigerians to know that the former Vice President Alaji Atiku Abubakar is insisting on full disclosure of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's academic record by the Chicago State University. He even said, though, President Tinubu has said the public disclosure of the Chicago State University document would cause irreparable damage to him. Nigerians would even be more shocked to know more about the certificate in question. He said even when the court of first instance the applicant court have, conv have convicted someone to death minutes before the Supreme Court gives the final verdict and three, and there arose fresh and compelling facts and evidence. The APS court is bound to listen to this fact before making a final judgment. So nobody should tell me that the Supreme Court will not condone evidence. This is an example I just gave, and it's true. If, for instance, eh, they say they don't judge one case. They don't condemn a criminal to death. So the person said, "We say, all die and die. You know, death be your next move." Oh. Then, a few minutes to the to the execution, to the taking away of the life, all of his sudden, now they rush. Come now, somebody rush. Come say, ah 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 ah. Fresh evidence has arisen that Mister so 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 and so and so did not do what was said. Guess what? The judge, the Supreme Court have a right to listen, to hear the fresh evidence. You can't just sit down there and say, eh, blah, blah. you must listen to the fresh evidence, must, with the, with the M capitalized. You can't just say, you know, Supreme Court cannot, uh, will not entertain fresh evidence, we've condemned him to death, death he must go. No, no, not when there is a fresh evidence. If this fresh evidence is compelling enough, it must be listened to, like a matter of must, must be listened to. So nobody should sit back there and tell us that uh, the Supreme Court is a court of just, you know, checking the facts and trying to see what the apex court missed. 
yes what the appeal court makes yes missed during his you know findings and hence he gave the judgment he gave yes but if there is really a compelling evidence okay a compelling evidence that that proves that suggests that things may all things may not be as it is it should be listened to should they have to listen to it somebody say listen yes it should be listened to you can't tell me say ah that's it that's it yeah you cannot uh, no 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 it should be listened to so now there we did so now that very place so now we did so everybody we will just wait to we'll wait patiently and we will see how things will go on from here because we are tired of the same thing over and over and over again where we we are quiet we say nothing and we know that things are not going well excuse me you know no say if we no say this thing they wrong and yet all of us they quiet and they pretend everything they right you know say we they fool ourselves yes now nah. nobody need to tell you now nah. the thing they wrong when you say leave her like that ah, excuse me is it that you have a problem or you don't want to find out the truth and i can assure you nigerians want to find out the truth i've been a liar lie no now we want to know the truth because some people feel that you know their votes were compromised this is not some people feel that way that this is not the person they voted for some people feel that i neck you know i neck uh, you know took away their chances of being able to speak out and to get you know the real substance that they need they feel i neck took that away from them and so being quiet and doing nothing about a situation that is causing some other person's pain. Pain is not right. It's not. So the Chicago State University, you know, has said, oh, they will not release it. A court has been compared to release the result, the result and everything that is happening right now. And yet we're still, we're still where we are because Tinubu does not want his credentials released. He does not want it. No, he doesn't. He does not want his credentials released. You know, he said it will cause him irreparable. But everybody called the one that said, Tinubu, is there something else that we need to know? It will cause you irreparable loss. Wow. Brother, you need to tell us something. Is there something else that we actually sincerely, truly need to know? So this is where we are at at the moment. Well, we would like to hear from you. We would like to know what you think. We would like to hear your view. Okay? So that together we can understand the irreparable uh, consequences that will affect uh, Shiwadu Ahmed Bola Tinubu as a result of his result being made known to every single person, which he does not want to be revealed. Yes? So, it is what it is. Let's hear what you think. Let's hear what you think. Let's uh, get let's get the whole picture of, you know, of what is going on so that we can truly work together and um, understand what's going on in our country. A nation where you cannot speak, you speak, they say you to talk, you know, a nation where they, they don't even want you to, you know, to have a, you know, to for your voice to be heard. It's not done. It's not done. What is wrong is wrong. Let's not try to sugarcoat it. If it's wrong, it's really wrong. So leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to know what you think. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Bye for now.